Statistics show that the United States has over 1,150 tornadoes every year, which is more than any other country in the world. Statistics also show that the states in the US have more tornadoes than Australia, Canada, and Europe combined. Every year, states within the US have at least one tornado, but some of the states have dozens. And some of those tornadoes can be quite violent and deadly. But the US is sort of special when it comes to tornado production. Unfortunately, tornadoes take an average of 73 lives per year, which is a super high number in comparison to entire Europe that has between 10 and 15 fatalities annually. So, why do some states have more fatalities? The top five states with the most tornadoes are Florida, Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Texas. Among those five, Texas has an average of 140 tornadoes annually. However, the total number of tornadoes doesn't mean that Texas is the most dangerous state to live in. For example, Alabama has an average of 42 tornadoes per year, which is over three times fewer than Texas. But it's ranked as the state with the most tornado fatalities. Though it has fewer tornadoes than other states, it has an annual average of 14 tornado fatalities. That's almost double the Missouri averages, which is eight deaths per year. The reason why some states have more fatalities than the rest is the time of day and the topography where the tornado forms. You see, the topography of the southern states, including Alabama, often consists of plateaus, rolling hills, and way more trees than the plain states such as Nebraska, Texas, and Kansas, where tornadoes can be seen from miles away. The sooner a tornado is spotted, the faster people can respond, which allows for more time for everyone to find shelter. Other states such as Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee see more tornadoes during the night, which leads to more casualties since people are sleeping. Many factors contribute to higher fatality rates in the southern states. There are a lot of factors that, when combined, lead to higher fatality rates in the southern states than their Greater Plains counterparts. But all of the states have a few things in common. They all share the ideal atmospheric conditions for the formation of tornadoes. According to Dr. Harold Brooks, senior scientist in the NOAA National Severe Storms Laboratory, ideal conditions include warm, moist air that's near the ground, mostly dry and cool air at about 10,000 to 30,000 feet, and horizontal winds in the environment the storm forms. That increases as you go from the ground up and change direction with height, blowing from the equator near the ground and from the west aloft. Warm, moist air comes from the Gulf of Mexico, and cool, dry air comes from the height of the Rocky Mountains or the high desert in the southwest. Any states that are located between these regions have the ideal conditions for the formation of tornadoes. The US leads every other country for tornadoes. With a land area of 3.93 million square miles, Europe is slightly larger than the United States, yet it averages just 250 tornadoes a year. Germany has an average of 28 tornadoes annually, while European Russia has about 85. The highest density of tornado reports is over northern Germany, the Netherlands, and Belgium because those parts of Europe have the most favorable conditions for the tornadoes to form. Canada ranks second in the list for most tornadoes, with an average of 100 annually, which is nowhere near what the United States has averaged in the last decade. According to statistics, the US averaged 1,173 tornadoes from 2011 to 2020. Tornadoes happen all over the globe. Studies have shown that all countries where tornadoes appear have one thing in common, the time of the day when tornadoes occur, which is usually in the afternoon and early evening. However, the peak season is different per country. In Central and Northern Europe, tornadoes peak in the summer, while in the Central Mediterranean and Western Europe, they are most common during autumn. Tornadoes in the Eastern Mediterranean peak during winter. In the United States, peak season is spring. But tornadoes are not just limited to the Northern Hemisphere. They also happen in Australia, South Africa, and South America, which has a tornado hotspot that spreads across Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and part of Brazil. Tornadoes also spin clockwise in the Southern Hemisphere, which is the exact opposite of how they spin in the Northern. Strange, but it kind of makes sense. So, it turns out that the United States has the best conditions for the formation of tornadoes. Do you live in one of the states we mentioned, or countries where tornadoes are frequent? If that's the case, how do you deal with tornadoes? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We have more content coming your way!